I want to clean up a few loose ends from our meeting today. Uh, this is my first time teaching with IntelliJ IDEA, and so some of these problems that come up I just hadn't anticipated, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, the first time you run IntelliJ, uh, it doesn't know where Java is installed, and so you're going to get a, an error kind of like this, Project SDK is not defined. So all you need to do is say, uh, set up your SDK, and, uh, oops, I don't have any there, configure. There we are. That should be in the screen capture area. Um, there's nothing in there. We'll hit the plus there. And we're going to grab a Java development kit, a JDK. And so from here, you'll just navigate to wherever you have that installed. So if you're on Windows, it's probably in you know C colon slash program files or something like that. Um, Mac, I have no idea where it installs it. Um, I have mine installed right here. So here's my JDK 1.8. And uh, yeah, that's everything I need. So now I say OK. I'll say OK again, and now it can compile against uh, Java version 8. Um, I actually keep multiple JVMs installed, or JDKs installed, for different projects, but uh, we'll leave that alone for now. Um, so once you have that set up, let me show you again how we can pull in the latest version of the uh, Leap Year project. Um, as you recall, I worked on this on my laptop. I had a repository, a Git repository, on my laptop. I made my changes there, and then I pushed those changes to GitHub. So here's GitHub, right? Just go to github.com, and I'm going to change my view so that I'm looking at our course organization. And from here, I can see that there is a repository here. I'll click on that. And this is my web view to the repository that I pushed out to GitHub. Um, you know, we can poke around in here, for example, and see what those files look like. In order to clone this repository, uh, all I need to do is grab the URL here. So I'm just going to say Control-C to copy that. This is probably copy to clipboard. That'll work too. And then I go back to IntelliJ, and I can say File, New, Project from Version Control, Git. I usually use this one instead of GitHub. Either one should probably work OK. I'll paste in that URL. Um, Oh, it doesn't like the fact that this uh, directory doesn't exist yet. That's okay. I can I can create that real quick. Uh, I don't know whether or not you'll have to do this or not. Um, let's see. That looks like make a directory, huh? I actually have a separate folder where I keep uh, my other projects, but that's neither here nor there. The important thing is that now if I say clone, oh, I'll have to log into GitHub. Uh, I'm not going to set up a master password here. Open it in this window, yeah. Here we go. Here is my local copy of Leap Year Day 2. Um, now this default view is a little bit ugly, but if I click on here... Um, oops, I'm sorry, click on here. There we go. Then I get the frames. Right, I can toggle this on or off here. And now I can look at the project. I can see everything, and it should look like what we saw earlier. And if I run all my tests in my test folder, I can right-click here and say, Run all tests. I can see that my tests pass. And uh, that should do it. You should go ahead and try this yourself, because what I'm going to do on Friday is work with you on continuing this example, adding some more test cases, uh, working on our to-do list.